In the name of the Father and of the Son of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. You are welcome once again to our daily guide. I want to begin a discussion on anger. When you are angry, what do you do? And what are you supposed to do as a child of God when you are angry? Well, the scripture actually gave us some tips about solving a problem. The first thing is love. And if, so if you have love, according to St. Paul's letter to, to Corinthians, it says love has no, has no enmity. Love is patient. Love is kindness. Love does not see the sin of your brothers and sisters. Brother, love takes things for granted. And so we should be able to practice love. And if you have love in you, anger will be something very little for you to handle. However, the act of being angry is general because as we grow up, even the child gets angry, okay? And begin to cry for his mother to pet him or her. So it, these are human tendencies we cannot avoid in life. And so where two or more people are gathered, there is always peace and there are bound to be conflicts. First Corinthians chapter 6, St. Paul stated this. Is one of you with a complaint against another so brazen as to seek judgment from sinners and not from God's holy people? Do you not realize that the holy people of God are to be the judges of the world? And if the world is to be judged by you, are you not competent for petty cases? Do you not realize that we should be the judges of angels then quite certain over matters of this life? But when you have matters of this life to be judged, you bring them before those who are of no account in the church. I say this to make you ashamed yourselves. Can it really be that it is possible to find in the community one sensible person capable of deciding questions between brothers? A very serious case. <laughs> you know, even when Christ talked about anger and conflict between your brothers and sisters, what the resolution Christ gave? Christ said, if you are angry with your brother, you'll be in trouble, rather. Settle with him. To the point that even when you are going to worship God, he said, leave the offering there. In the Gospel of Matthew chapter 5, verse 23, he said, leave your offering there before the altar. Go back and settle with your brother first before offer that item to God. Prayer is also interwoven with forgiveness because... If you are praying the one the mercy of God, Christ noted, if you do not forgive the saints of your brothers and sisters, your heavenly father will not forgive you yours too. What about the story or the parable of the forgiven servants who refused to forgive his fellow brother, but his master forgave him? So in the same vein, we have been encouraged to make sure that when we are angry, we should know how to settle our cases. This was what Christ said. When you are angry with your brother, Go and discuss with him first. Secondly, if he refuses, call the third party. And if he insists, report the matter to the council of elders. St. Paul is saying that is there no elder, wise person among you with wisdom who can settle your cases? <laughs> this, is, this is surprising anyway. But the emphasis here is that when you are angry, what do you do? How do you overcome your anger? From the look of things, I do observe that people transfer aggression to other people. Maybe people have family life problems or their personal problems in life. And so wherever they are, they cause conflicts or obstacles. Can we use these words of St. Paul who said, never be an obstacle to anybody, anybody. All you need to do is just to show love to brothers and sisters. Well, anger seems to be an expression of your inner feelings that hurt you. An expression of your inner feeling that hurts you. But sometimes, even St. Paul, while talking about anger, he said, You shouldn't allow the sunset, the evening, to meet you still angry. According to St. Paul in Ephesians chapter 4, from verse 26, he said, Even if you are angry, do not sin. Never let the sun set on your anger. Definitely, if you are angry, can you not sin or sin? It is possible. If someone is doing something against you and is always stepping on your toe, you have the right to tell him in anger, that, look, I'm annoyed over this. Please, don't try it again. I don't like it. That is no sin. You have done nothing. It is when you act 
Sometimes you hear some words from people, rumors, given that your brother was about biting you, you got angry and then you went to the person and began to abuse the person. You don't know whatever your brother discussed with or your sister or your brother discussed with that fellow you are insulting or you, you are talking to. So what you need to do is to be polite enough to tell somebody, I am aggrieved, I am annoyed. That is no sin. It is when you react too much. So Aristotle said, in one of his writings, he said, if you are angry, it is easy to go into passion, either to love or to be in anger. But if you are angry, be angry to the, towards the right objects at the right time or the right extent. Assuming you are angry in the morning and someone insulted you are angry in the morning or called you fool or certain things, you became aggrieved and you're angry in the morning, and up till the afternoon, you might be reporting that case to somebody, this person, I must assault him sometimes, some market dance, or you, someone offended in the market or in the office, and they come out of the room, start talking about this issue, it's annoyance. And then you are disturbing yourself, you hurt yourself psychologically. Of course, the person you are talking to is not even there anymore, but you just came to the house and started banging at anything, any child will meet you, you insult that person, you kick the person right and left, because you are angry from the market, or you have transferred aggression. And so when you are angry, get that anger towards the right objects at the right time, at the right extent. This is where I will stop. I'm going to take other volumes about anger, how to deal with anger when you are angry, considering the scriptural text and moral principles in life. I am Robert Father Peter Omo with you again once more on Daily Guide. Please follow me every day and subscribe, ring the notification bell, and thumbs up if you like this video. God bless you all. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.